friends welcome back to the pragmatic lopa today i'm going to tell you about a super food which i'm sure health conscious individuals might know a lot while some of you might know nothing about so do not worry today i'll introduce you all to this amazing super food known as tatara quinoa as it's important to know what makes one food superior to others when people are new to quinoa like i was some time back they often call it quinoa going to its spelling the way it's read but the correct pronunciation is quinoa quinoa it's very common these days you can buy it from any local grocery store so let's see by the end of this video How far will this tiny mini seeds convince you to add it to your grocery list? Unlike the common belief, it's not a grain. In reality, it's a seed. It's kind of pseudo cereal. As instead of grains from grass family, they are seeds of a green family like spinach. But to make it easier for dietitians, nutritionists and other health experts, It is considered under grains. Quinoa is indigenous to South America. It was extensively consumed by the Inca civilization 3000 years back. Around 3 to 4000 BC, they used to even call it as mother grain. There are more than thousands of varieties of quinoa. Three main types are white or creamy, red and black. Right now I do not have pure red and black ones. What you are seeing here is a mix of all the three. Red and black ones have a earthy flavor to it and have a slight hard coating outside so are well separated once cooked. Unlike the creamy ones which are most commonly available while some describe it to have a nutty sweet flavor but I find it neutral and with nice fluffy texture once cooked. Quinoa has numerous health benefits. Once it's small video can't justify it. So I'll tell you only the salient points about them. Quinoa is the only seed which is considered as complete protein like meat. This falls under top 10 muscle building food. Unusual thing is it is the only plant source which has all the nine essential amino acids. By essential I mean which can't be produced by our body so we depend on outside sources unlike various other grains and vegetables which need to be consumed in different proportions for an adequate protein intake as mostly they are deficient of an essential amino acid called lysine quinoa has both better quality and more quantity of proteins than most grains So it's a great choice for vegetarians and vegans as an alternative to meat, fish and dairy products. 1 cup of cooked quinoa has 8 grams of protein which is more than an egg or a glass of milk. It has 16% protein compared to rice which has only 7%. It has low glycemic index which means It slowly gets absorbed by the blood which will keep you full for a longer duration and also because it's a complex carbohydrate quinoa will keep cravings at bay so those health conscious individuals who wants to lose or maintain weight can benefit a lot it also regulates your body's glucose level so it's a safer choice for diabetics or those who are prone to get affected For someone like me should be careful what they eat as diabetes runs in my family as it's high in fiber it keeps your digestive system intact and healthy aids in losing fat and hence weight loss it lowers cholesterol as well you will get quarter of daily fiber intake in just one serving which contains 5 grams of fiber as it's the source of vitamins and minerals vitamins such as folate b1 b2 b3 b6 and vitamin e b2 provides energy to brain and muscle cells minerals as manganese 
magnesium, copper, phosphorus, iron which is good for women, zinc, potassium, selenium, calcium, more calcium than even milk and sodium. Manganese which is an antioxidant which fights against free radicals and prevents aging and cancer, boosts your immune system. It also assists individuals with migraine and headaches. Antioxidants help reduce blood pressure and prevents many cardiac diseases. Quinoa being low on sodium makes it further an excellent choice for individuals with high blood pressure or at risk of developing it. One cup of cooked quinoa has 58% of manganese. It also contains phytic acid which binds these minerals and prevents its absorption by the body. So make sure you soak quinoa prior to cooking for better absorption of these minerals. It has most of optimally healthy fatty acids like unsaturated fats 80 to 85% of mostly omega 3, 6 and 9 along with no cholesterol and trans fats. It is also rich in trace nutrients such as phytonutrients like flavonoids which are actually plant antioxidants such as quercetin and camphorol. It also has many anti-inflammatory compounds, polysaccharides, phenolic acids and saponins. Saponin attribute to the bitterness in quinoa, so always rinse it before cooking. Details on cooking will be in the part 2 of quinoa, as it's naturally gluten free, making it a safer and better choice for gluten intolerant individuals. It's a good healthy substitute for white rice, as it's high in protein, fiber, healthy fats and exceptionally high in vitamins and minerals. You can see for yourself, by including quinoa to your diet, you can significantly improve your health owing to its amazing health benefits. No matter whichever way you have it, make sure to incorporate this nutrient-packed, protein-rich superfood in your diet. I hope you found this video informative and yet interesting to know. In the next part of quinoa, I'll show you how to cook quinoa and use it at ease. Until next time, take care. See you again.